have a sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. We have the Strength card and King of Cups. Now the Strength card, it's showing that it could be a time to meditate, contemplate, and spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a whole lot of kids. Don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear. Because I say this, the outward things, they'll be going all right, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability to do so, you have the responsibility. So, the strength card is basically about conquering your fears, controlling your impulses, and never lose patience with what you're trying to do, or yourself. It's with the King of Cups. This King of Cups, it speaks of a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds very positive qualities, both masculine and feminine. Now, if we're referring to a man in your life, and you get the King of Cups, it's referring to a very kind and loving man. You'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know that you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when this card appears in your reading. This King of Cups, like I said, it's about kindness and compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. So nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So basically, for the present time, King of Cups and the Strength card. So there's someone very warm, friendly, and tolerant. That's the King of Cups. And because it's with the Strength card, it brings about self-love. Someone could be coming towards you that's like this King of Cups. And it makes you want to embrace the stronger side of yourself. Or there could be a connection that you're in that's very mutually supportive. And your person is very warm, friendly, and tolerant. And they support you in a lot of ways that you can see and that you cannot see. But let's check out the rest of the reading so that we'll get the full picture on this one. We'll get the full picture on these two cards in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me, so your person, they see you as a Five of Pentacles. And the Seven of Wands. Now, the Five of Pentacles, it points to a time when life could be feeling less than secure. The important thing to remember is that there's always help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could start to feel alone, but you have the capacity to change that. So reach out if you can do so, because I know a lot of us are on lockdown these days. House arrest, so it's hard to reach out in ways that we're used to so you probably will like I said, start to feel like you're left out in the cold as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering just realize that all is not lost or just realize that all is not what it seems put it that way do you do the best you can with what you have but remember the wise thing to do is if you need help to Go ask for it. The help you need will come. So yeah, you see how this lady, she looks like she's walking either out of that door or away from that door. And someone is holding her. It looks like maybe a friend. but Because both ladies have long hair. Uh, so I don't know who that, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know these people in the car, but someone's walking her away from the door, okay? And the dog is barking at her. Like, get away. Don't come over here. So, I don't know what the situation is, but something is making her feel really bad. Now, it's with the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands, the card below the Five of Pentacles, it's about finding that in any sort of competition situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Projects should be moving along. You still could have some regular moments of self-doubt. 
but now is the time to fail the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. Now this card it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. So you're feeling left out in the call with the five of pentacles. That's how they see you. Your person sees you like this. Uh, they see you as feeling like you have been mistreated. And they also see you as coming out on top. That's what that man is doing. He's got his foot on, his, on all these wands. And he's got one wand on his shoulder. And that's you. You're coming out on top. So there could have been some mistreatment in this connection or with your person, but they see you standing, yeah, standing tall and straight up and you're the last man standing. You're coming out on top. Now, um, let's take a look at how you see your person. Now, you see them as justice and you also see them as two of pinnacles. Now, the justice, it deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that everything you're dealing with is not a direct result of your own actions because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And with the justice card, if you're involved in a court case, it's likely to, re to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So you see the person that you're dealing with as justice, which is showing that there could be some type of truth and clarity, clarity that comes about. Now, it's paired with the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is about two main issues that front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on the things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need more balance. Be sure you're paying attention there. So you see them as, like I said, probably getting some clarity and truth and you also see them as this two of pinnacles. Uh, they do a lot of multitasking. They juggle. Yeah. Now this two of pinnacles can stand for a two-timer. Somebody that just does a lot of juggling. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. Because of the High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. Now the High Priestess can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your into. This is a time... To rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important that you pay attention to your dreams now. Keeping a dream diary is a good idea. So well, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. There could be a lot of people... Fighting for you or your person's attention with this high priestess here. Now let's clarify it because it's pretty vague. It's with the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups means that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, job, neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times they lie ahead. 
If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, usually it means that you're the one who will make the choice. Keep in mind when one door closes, it has to do that before another door in front of you can fully open. So, yeah, this Eight of Cups is about uh, someone withdrawing, moving on, abandoning this connection. Um, but it's with the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is also, the High Priestess will also pull their energy back. They're also sitting pretty. They are wise teacher types. They can be quiet, very quiet and mysterious. Um, but a lot of people are drawn and attracted to them. So, let's take a look at the full reading, because it's, it's kind of scattered, and let's get a, a complete picture. Let's get the full story on this. So, for the present time, we've got the Strength card and the King of Cups. So, with the Strength card, there's a lot of self-love, self-respect, and the relationship is uh, mutually supportive with the strength card and it really is because be because this king of cups is very is very kind and compassionate warm friendly and tolerant so there's a, a lot of really good energy for the present time but then your person they see you as feeling left out in the cold being felt like you're being mistreated but they also see you coming out on top you win this situation or whatever the situation was whatever happened they see you as yeah you're doing all right you know you don't stay feeling left out in the cold for long okay and then you see them as the justice card feeling like they had the right to do so Whatever they did to you to make you feel like you were left out in the cold, they feel justified in doing so. And then we got this Two of Pentacles here. You see them as probably a, they maybe they were two timing you. Two timing, yeah, with the Two of Pentacles. That's what I'm picking up. They were juggling. That's what the two. That's what the Two of Pentacles is about juggling and it start to make you feel really bad okay and um why it's happening the high priestess uh, a lot of people probably were fighting for it's either you or your person's attention mm -hmm. someone has options could be you aquarius or your person so, since you or your person has options, one of you could be walking away. It looks like one of you are walking away with this Eight of Cups. And I want to say it's you, Aquarius, walking away because for the present time and how they see you, you come out standing on top. You're no longer feeling left out in the cold. You win this. You win this situation after you walk away, because you have other options. Okay, you, or, or put it this way: with this high priestess showing up in your reading, it looks like you pull back your energy, and you moved on. You're moving on. You're planning to move on to things that are that show you more interest. Or people that show you more interest because uh, people are drawn to you and with the eight of cups below there yeah it looks like you walked away and they see you as coming out on top you're doing well they're still juggling and it looks like they feel they have the right to do so and for the present time we talked about the strength card and king of cups it looks like 
you come out on top and with the strength card and king of cups um, you find self-love you love yourself even more yet this person must have brought you down in a lot of ways because they were too tiny and they like to um, juggle they like having more than one uh, they had a problem bringing balance into this connection so yeah with the strength card you you found yeah you found love in yourself that's what that is you found a, a lot of self-love and self-respect so you became even stronger and with the king of cups there you probably met someone that looks like this person was very kind and supportive and very warm a very loving type person looks like it's coming towards you this king of cups so this is good you have a lot of love for yourself now it looks like you won't let anyone make you feel that way anymore uh, like i said with this how they see you being left out in the call that's this is a, a horrible card in the tarot because it shows that there could be some uh, mistreatment. Someone's not treating you the way they should. So you need to stop fantasizing about this person entirely. Yeah, they made you feel really bad. And the good thing is that in this reading is that they see that you have come out on top. So, and you've got a lot of self-love now. And then you've got a lot of people interested in you too. They see you as a high priestess.